Eric Mothers, Mother .com. Let's take a look at a chart here that is showing a slight pullback from the mid 20s and already has gone down over the last couple of weeks. Now, this is the two year weekly chart. Now, to explain where we might be seeing resistance around current levels here at the recent highs, we have to go and take a look, or at least in my opinion, we have to go take a look at the long term monthly chart. And here is the long term all data monthly chart. And I'll share with you two lines that I believe are the cause for the current hidden resistance. Now, if you take the line connecting the previous RSI lows and extend it out, you see that the lows connect with the lows here and most of these lows. You can even say this was support. Now, you'll notice that once we broke below that line, we drift lower and in the current market we've come and tried to move above the line we seem to be rejected so that might be one of the causes for the pullback suggesting that month to month the pressure continues to be to the downside now there's another line also that we can draw based on a prior breakpoint going back to this period here let's say sometime in 2005. Now, we can see a break in 2005 of that high on a monthly closing basis. We drift lower, substantially lower, because we are talking about coming off the highs of about $12, $13 to the lows ultimately going back and, you know, like the lows in 2006 were, let's say, under $2 big drop and then we go into this massive sideways action for many many years so definitely this was a major break here and of course that coincides with this trend line break on the RSI if we draw a line from there it should be something like that we can see that we get interesting points and to summarize these points we can see sub support Actually, let me say resistance here of those highs, resistance again, we find resistance there, we break out, there's an entry there in 2012, we break below it, pull back, resistance, resistance, we break out for a nice entry there, that entry was very successful, ultimately we break below it, which is this period, and ever since then, we've been finding resistance on each rally attempt on the red line. And the same thing is happening in the current market. So if I bring back the previous line, I would say that this is the cause for hidden resistance in the stock based on these two major lines. And until we can clear the red and the blue line, we can assume that the next major trend is down. Otherwise, a breakout above these two lines is needed. Just like what happened when we broke out above the red line here to begin this massive rally, which took the stock on a massive run, moving it from, let's say, $3 to the highs of 45 in a couple of years. So as long as we are seeing resistance on the two lines, chances are the next major trend for the stock is down which might explain why we can see in the current market this has become an area of resistance over the last couple of weeks. Eric Moad with Mother.com with an explanation of to, as to why sometimes we get hidden resistance in a stock. Peace and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!